Salut les enfants, c'est ce j'espère que vous avez bien passé la nickel. Aujourd'hui, nouvel épisode de la série My Eyes sur WWW 2K22. On va continuer l'histoire, les gars. On va mettre dans les réseaux. Alors, Kisly qui nous dit Mon match par ma titre WWE NXT ne s'est pas terminé comme je voulais. Je voudrais être en colère, mais c'est comme ça que je le rendis. Le tout premier, ok, bref. Ok. J'imagine que sans limite, c'est comme le nombre de chances que tu as eu d'intégrer la WWE ou d'un bas décisif que donne ton chef, euh, ton cher euh, William Ragnall. Ok. Je savais pas que j'allais faire ensuite, ce que j'allais faire ensuite. Mais maintenant je sais, je vais remonter les échelons en te dégommant par exemple, par exemple, pardon, c'est vrai, allez, je t'attends. Je suis un échelon à gravir par personne, mais si tu veux te redescendre d'un cran, je t'attends. Alors c'est décidé, on se retrouve sur le ring la semaine prochaine. En fait, j'ai déjà un match de prévu, mais pour te montrer que je suis, euh, ce que veut dire vraiment sans limite, je vais le, rem le reporter, puis je reviens te botter le cul juste après, comme tu veux, mais je veux pas entendre d'excuses quand ce sera fini, ok Accepté. Quel est le Donc me voici. contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Lisbon Portugal weighing in at 228 pounds rock the boss as a pro athlete he just began to reach his potential in football when nagging injuries he did this in this moment after he impressed the media recruiter Corey Klein he was given an opportunity at the performance center the rest is history but he did not have a lot of montage and all but I tried to je vais m'améliorer, mais c'est juste que je ne sais pas quoi faire en montage. Genre, euh, sur le et tout, il n'y a que sur Fortnite que je sais à peu près euh, faire du montage. Mais je ne sais pas quoi faire comme vidéo, donc dites-moi des idées de vidéos, etc. En attendant, on est déjà sur le ring. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. Okay, man, I'm still trying to kiss Lee. Ah no, I'm not going to touch it. Don't kiss Lee. C'est un Trisaïa Swerve Scott. Et Scott. Back it up. Saxton, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. Ok les gars, début du match. Ouais, il m'a rendu en direct. Objectif gagné avec un de meilleur une soumission. Il a fondé directement. Sous l'entente. 
Yeah, and before Scott arrived at WWE, he toured the indie scene and made a name for himself as a top talent. I assure you, he's out to replicate that success here against the best superstars in the world. Nice. Okay. 
Before I get to my next match against Keith Lee, I have a few things I'd like to discuss. Hang on a second. Just let me gather my thoughts real quick. Gather your thoughts or stall before you have to face a rested and motivated Keith Lee. Okay. Where was I? Like any top superstar would, I did my homework on Keith Lee in preparation for tonight's match. And I... <laughs> I learned some very interesting things. See, this, this man is full of hashtags and motivational catchphrases, but it's all a bunch of lies. He's never lived up to a single one of them. Like, did you know that Keith Lee stole his parents' car when he was first leaving home to become a wrestler? I guess Grand Theft Auto is the true definition of limitless. Speaking of Keith's parents, it turns out they didn't even want him to get into wrestling. They wanted him to continue playing football. But instead he quit, turning his back on his team and a free education that millions would die for. I doubt any of his coaches or teammates felt like basking in his glory after that. But after reading more and more about Keith Lee's backstory, one thing became clear. This, this is a pattern. He's always taking the easy way out, finding people who buy into his phony persona and enable him to receive countless opportunities after failing over and over again. Like, for instance, how he failed to make the cut at the Performance Center three times before he was bailed out by William Regal, who, to this day, continues to give him chance after chance when all he does is squander them. But this pattern really first started with Keith Lee's grandmother, who introduced him to wrestling as a young boy in Texas. Well, I can't go back and fix the giant mistake she made. I can put an end to it now. So, Keith Lee, come on out here so I can expose you for what you really are. A fake, a liar, a failure, and soon to be Wait a second. former WWE oh, no, no. superstar. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Family and grandmother, and this is what you get. Keith Lee's oh, no, no, no. He snap. Someone needs to stop him. If anyone can talk some sense into Keith Lee, it's NXT general manager William Regal. Oh, my God, I'm going to make it to the top. And finally, it looks like cooler heads are prevailing. He may have taken a beating, but I think this is what he wanted. He got inside Keith Lee's head, and now he has an important mental edge going into whatever their next encounter is. Keith Lee is as tough mentally as he is physically. I'm not sure that strategy is going to work. Did you not just see what happened? I think it's already proven extremely effective. Okay, continue it. Ok, alors, je ne compte pas laisser un bref un système en battre avec ces manipulations. Je remue ça. Je suis plutôt fort, euh, plus fort que ça. 
je crois que je t'ai déjà battu mentalement en te faisant péter un plomb. D'ailleurs, aucune répercussion par cette attaque gratuite. Il n'y a rien qui Ok, c'était loin d'être gratuit. Maintenant, aucune mesure ne sera prise. Quand qui se lit, fini de parler faisant le match comme c'était prévu, ok Mais comme je vais, euh, comme je vais pas porter plainte pour agression, ça va comment ça va se passer Ça me va, viens le jour J et après par toi à te faire ridiculiser encore une fois. Faisons un match performance center, tu sais, Vendra, où t'as raté trois fois pour entrer à la WWE. Prépare-toi euh, à te voter encore une fois. Ok, les gars, on fera le match, mais pas dans cet épisode. J'espère que cet épisode aura plu. Si c'est le cas, n'hésitez pas à liker, commenter, partager, surtout vous abonner. Désolé si c'est un peu long, mais voilà. Ciao tout le monde. Peace.